Drago, and once again, we're going to show you a kickstart method. This one is a bit cheaper than the 10 and all method. This one I call pick three, and you'll see why, because it involves picking three missions, and pretty much sticking with them is the easiest way to do it. Step number one is to open 20 missions, so we'll start doing that. So let's start with the Borg, and we should be able to open eight of those. There's one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, and I don't think we can open any more. Yeah, it's eight. It's standard eight by three. So now we'll open eight of section 31s. There's one, two, three, there's four, there's five, there's six, and there's seven, there's eight, we'll make sure, yeah, no more, and now we've got 16 open total, so we need 20, we're going to open four Klingon missions, there's one, two, three, and four. They are open now. What I'm going to do is pick three missions, and we're going to write these down. What I'm going to do is look for Borg missions, just because that's what I want to do. So the first one I see there, there is no distraction. We'll go with that one. I will write that one down on the sheet of paper I have next to me. We'll go with no distraction. And oh god, of course it's a stupid one where it's a five-seater, but whatever. Well, we'll staff it with good people and crap people, because... Yeah. Okay. Well, actually, we can probably just do it with good people because we're only sending three. So there's no distraction. We're going to send that one off. We're going to do... Let's do Lore of the Forbidden. We'll write that one down. Lore of the Forbidden. Okay. And we'll send that one off. And yeah, I'm just going to use my best crew because we're only sending three shuttles this round. And now i got to scroll all the way back up to the top. There we go. There's three for that shuttle. Oh, we're not using time boost. That's right. We're just sending them off as one, as one minute missions. And then the third one we'll do is one called Locutus himself. So I'll write that down on my sheet of paper here too. Locutus himself. And that's really the important part is to remember what those three are. So there's Locutus himself and we'll staff that. La -dee da There we go. And we'll send that off. And what we're going to do is just wait until all of these one min missions are done. And yeah, we've got about a minute there. The next step after this is going to be opening two missions. So what we're going to do is wait till these are all done. And then we're just going to open up two of these three again. Because we had opened up all the board missions. And we sent three of them. So we'll just open two of those up and do them with a zero star boost once all of these ships come in here. So we've got about 30 seconds to wait before we start these up again, and my screen is starting to dim. We don't want it to, to go off and interfere with the recording, and we've got one more Borg shuttle to go through, and this is the only waiting time there is, because the rest of the kickstart is done with boosts, which will end the missions instantly. So we got eight seconds, seven, six, five, four. I feel like I should be singing Old Lang Syne here. Three, two, one, Happy New Year. All right, we're going to pull these three Borg missions back in now. And that completes step one. We sent three missions. What we're going to do now is open up two Borg missions, and we're going to remember which ones they are. The first one we open is No Distraction. Okay. And what's the second one? The second Borg mission we open is... Locutus himself. Okay. So two of the shorter named ones. Let's go and staff those. Okay, so Locutus himself, we're going to... Let's find them in the thing here. Let's go first for No Distraction, just to make sure I can find it. Where is no distraction? There's no distraction. We're going to staff this one. 
and we're going to send this one with a zero star time boost. We'll get a time boost, we'll put a zero star on. We send it, we don't complete it yet because we're also going to go to Locutus himself. And we are going to send that one off with a zero star time boost as well. Rock and roll. There we go. Those are both off, those are both back. So we can scroll over here. You can see those two Borg ones are in. There we go. Boom. And boom. Now we're going to open up the same three Borg missions and do them with a one-star boost. So let's open those three. And we wrote them down from before. No, no distraction. Uh, lore of the Forbidden something or other and Locutus himself. So there we go. We got no distraction. We got locutus himself and then the one i wasn't sure on the name of is lore of the forbidden okay so let's go find those they are board missions there's the no distraction one that we have we're going to set that one up and again i'm just going to use my best crew because we're only sending like three of these at a time so Anyway, what we're doing now is we're doing these with a one-star boost. Last time was zero star. This time is one star. We'll throw a one-star boost and send that. We're also looking for Locutus himself, which is right here. We'll send that off with a one-star boost as well. One-star boost. There we go. And the last one was Lore of the Forbidden. And we'll send those off. And we'll do those with a one-star boost too. Send that off with a one-star boost. Those three are out. You can see why I'm calling this pick three, because we basically just pick three missions and stick to them. Okay, there we go. And those three board shuttles are back. We have done that. The next one we're going to do is pretty much the same thing, but we're going to do it with a two-star boost this time. So we're going to open those same three board missions of... This one is Locutus himself. This one is... Lore of the Forbidden, and then No Distractions will be the last one. I'm starting to remember the names of these. Okay, we'll scroll back through and find them here. Locutus himself. We're going to staff that with our best crew. Just for shits and giggles, we'll throw a two-star booster on there. And we'll go to Lore of the Forbidden. Do the same thing with that. Staff it with our best staff. We'll put a two-star booster on that and send it off. Well, my game is being very slow. I hit the send button, and it's just kind of sitting there. There we go. It glitched on me there, and then no distraction, or whatever it is. No, no distraction, no distinction, whatever. Whatever it is called. I thought it was no distraction, but I guess it's no distinction. See, I got that wrong. I wasn't paying much attention to that, but... There we go, and we'll put another two-star booster on you. That'll take care of you. And we have now done the round where we do two-star boosts. So, the next part gets a little complicated, but it's not too bad. You just have to remember which one you designated not to pick. So we'll finish the two-star round, and we're going to open these same three missions back up again. So the first one we have is... No distinction. The second one that we have is Lore of the Forbidden, and the last one is going to be Locutus himself. And what we're going to do is send two of these, and Locutus himself is going to be the one that we hold back since it came up last. So what we did is we opened three of them, and now we're going to send two of these with four star boosts. So we're going to save Locutus himself. We're going to do two of these with three-star boosts here. And which two are we going to do with three-star boosts? We're going to do Lore of the Forbidden with a three-star boost. Okay. Boom. Lore of the Forbidden. We're going to do that with a three-star boost. That'll take it to zero. And we're going to do No Distinction with a three-star boost. That'll take that to zero, too. And then we're going to do the same thing with four-star boosts, and then we'll go back, and we will get uh, the Locutus himself after that. But we're going to use a three-star boost on you. Okay, so those are the two we have sent with three-star boosts. We're going to pull those back in now. Oh, I thought I sent it off. It's kind of glitching again here on me. 
I'm trying to make a video. Don't glitch. This is not the time to glitch. There we go. Okay. Let us go reel these two shuttles in. We're going to open these same two ones up again. And this time we're going to send them with a four star. So we go back to the Borg. And we're going to send No Distinction and... What was the other one called? Uh, Lore of the Forbidden. So Lore of the Forbidden and No Distinction now are getting sent with four-star time boost. So we go and find No Distinction. We're going to send this with a four-star time boost. Okay. Use a four-star time boost on you. That'll take you down to zero. And we're going to go for Lore of the Forbidden. We're going to send that one with a four-star time boost as now. Those are the last ones we have to open for kickstart. Okay, there's a four-star time boost for you there. Now let's reel these two back in. And now after we've reeled these two back in, this is where we go back to Locutus himself. And we send this Locutus himself off with a three-star boost, and that's gonna be the last one that we send with boosts. Alrighty, we'll send that with a three-star boost which should take it down to zero. Yeah, see, it says 30, but it did complete it. There's some kind of glitch in the system there. But now the rest of these are all one-minute missions, and we're just going to kind of fill them in as we go. This one we can just kind of, you know, just do random. All right, we're not going to. We're not going to send those at all. We're just going to do that, and you can see it goes from two hours to one minute. So you really don't have to worry about much, you know, just kind of staff them with whoever you happen to find. As long as it gets up into the 90s, it should be fine. Send that off, and it goes from two hours to one minute, because these were the original ones. We just kind of tricked the system. And we'll just kind of staff these with our upper mid-carters, with our higher ones. I keep forgetting I'm not doing time boosts on these. We're just sending them off. And sometimes you'll outrun yourself, and you'll have to wait until one of your first shuttles comes back to be able to send another one out since we're not using time boosts here but there we go see now we've got zero available shuttles to send and we've got several out but in 13 seconds we'll be able to start that over but that's basically what we're going to be doing is sending them all out not calling them back in you know waiting till they come back to send new ones until we have them all sent out and that's going to be the end of kickstart but we'll we'll run through it here for the sake of the video yeah again you know, just kind of staff this with whoever it doesn't really matter they're just you know kind of one point one point shuttles anyway, we had another one come back, so we can staff another one. Yeah, just whoever, whoever fits can go send that one off. And we just basically just keep waiting until these shuttles keep coming back and keep coming back and keep coming back. You do this with whatever it is, 16, 17 shuttles, I guess it is. So it, it takes a while, but this is the kickstart method that doesn't require very many time boosts at all, which is why I like it. It doesn't quite get you as many VP points. We'll check the VP points once I'm done with this kickstart. It doesn't quite get you the number of VP points that the 10 and then all method does, but the trade-off is you use a hell of a lot less boosts. You really save boosts using this method. This is a very, very cheap method. If you're running low on boosts, you know, it does require two four-star time boosts, but those, you know, you don't need any four-star time boosts for the 10 and all method, but two, two is not much to sacrifice for all the three-star boosts that you're saving, because for this, we would have used 24 three-star boosts just on round two in the 10-1 alone. So for, we have saved a ton of three-star time boosts, and we're just going to keep sending these, you know, just uh, whoever makes the shuttle makes it. You know, we'll just keep sending these off, and as they come back in, we'll keep sending them off. Oh, boy, we've got... Eh, not too many. We've got a handful left to send. And hopefully this one comes back. Well, there we go. Yeah, now it's able to be sent, and we can send that one off. How many more do we have here? I've oh, got ten seconds on that one, and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got six shuttles left to send, so it'll be another... Another few minutes here, but we will send these six shuttles off. That one has just come back, so we can send 
few, and again, just whoever happens to pop up on these shuttles. They're 1.1s, even if they fail, it's, it's not the end of the world. And we got two seconds left on that shuttle. We'll open up this shuttle, and we're getting finally, 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 we are getting to the end of these shuttles here. Here we go. Oh, only 98%. It wasn't 99. That one's going to fail. Okay, that one just came back. We can send this Section 31 shuttle off. I'm going to start scrolling up more. So oh, I don't want my shuttles to fail now, do I? There we go. There's 99%. Three seconds left on that Borg shuttle. That one's back. We've got three shuttles left to send. Oh, there's Fox. That's who I'm sharing with my crew, with my squad, because I'm the squad leader. I'm sharing that Reverend Fox's bonus crew. He's an exobiologist with... which is the only bonus stat for this event. We've got six seconds left on that Borg shuttle, and then we got two more to send, and then we can just kind of wait till they're all in and send them all away. Okay, let's start staffing these last shuttles, and we can go way up to the top now, because it just does not matter who we use, because we only have one more shuttle left here to send out. So in a minute, we'll bring them all back in, and then we'll go check VP, and that will be the end of this kickstart video but there you see it that's really all that there is it's a little more complex than the 10 than all method but if you can manage to stay on top of it you know you can save yourself over 20 you, know, you can save yourself 21 three star time boost just by using this kickstart method instead of that 10 then all then 10 then all method of kickstarting which gets you a heck of a lot of vp but it does not get you <laughs> it really eats into your into your three star time boost when you're doing your kickstart and I don't know about you, but I like saving my three-star time boost for later once the shuttles have racked up some more VP points and they're like 2750 per shuttle or 3500 per shuttle or when you finally get to 4000 VP per shuttle. That's when I really like growing on those three-star time boosts and getting the most bang for my buck there. I mean, you do get a nice lead and kickstart with the 10 then all method, but this method, I, I think I'm going to continue using this cheaper method here that I call pick three just because I like saving my boost. So we've got two seconds, one second, and all of these are in. Let's go and wrangle all these shuttles back into the barn here. And we'll do this as quickly as possible and then we'll check VP. Okay. We'll just keep pulling all these shuttles in. I don't really care what the rewards are. I don't really want to check them. I just want to get to the end of these shuttles. But yeah, that that is it. I think this also is a bit of a shorter method since you're not always scrolling through top to bottom of crew like you do with the second round of the 10 and all shuttle staffing where you're putting one good person on and and a bunch that are not so there. So yeah, I have had some questions on where that puts you in terms of VP. And let's take a look. I'm going to go to the leaderboard here. And my VP is 2920. So that is how much VP it gets you. I'm in the top 500 right now. The VP for this kickstart is 2920. And my shuttles are at 2750 VP each now. I hope you enjoyed this kickstart video. I hope it helps you out. And uh, happy timelining to you.